how to wire your E-Series Amerwin fan. It's actually really easy, and I'll go over a couple steps how you can wire it yourself. So well, first, we'll talk about the 240-volt power wires. So the power wires are pretty easy. you got the power wire going into the motor. This is the fan. The fan blades bolt onto this red part. The shaft of the motor of this one actually bolts fast to their building, and the power wire goes in through the shaft. It's kind of unusual. But what it does, it makes a really nice compact package. The whole, the motor spins, direct drive, no moving parts. You've got a cord coming out of it with four wires on. The one's green and white. That's your earth ground, your safety. The other three, you got, you got three others, uh, blue, brown, red. Those are your power wires. And they go over to your variable speed drive that comes with the fan. You get one of these with each fan. And they go in the bottom here. You've got three colors. And the power wires go right in here. The ground comes here on the other side. Uh, and the sequence, what you put them in, we have it marked which one you can do. If you get it backwards, the fan will just go backwards and you just swap them. It's, it's no big deal. Three power wires, the ground wire, and that, and that's all you got to do to get the, this connected to the variable speed drive. The variable speed drive, ideally, for, for agriculture environments, have this. Try not to extend this wire too far. The further you have it away, the more ground leakage you will have. From a motor st motor and a ground leakage standpoint, keep this box up with the fan. If this is a application where there's no livestock, then it doesn't matter as much, but still keep this box, always keep this box within about 100 foot of the motor because you get, there's just a, a number of technical things that just go better when this is close to the motor. So you've got this connected to the variable speed drive. Then the next step is bringing power into here. You got to bring power from your breaker panel into here. And we have three phase, single phase input, whichever one you want, three phase or single, comes into here to this breaker. And that's how the power comes to here and then gets modulated and goes to the motor. This does all the soft starting. And then the mat, if you have a manual control, this is a manual VSDM1, which is forward reverse, slower, faster. So this gets connected with control wire that you supply to the variable speed drive. One of these can do moldable fans, but there's not no power comes into here. It's just like real low voltage. And it connects through these terminals right here down to your VSDM1, and I'll show you how to do it. So the thermostat cable, the colors match up with the colors in here. You just strip these off and follow the collar sequence. Then you bring it down to your, you mount this down by your doorway or wherever it's convenient, somewhere where you go in and out, where you want to adjust it. So, so you bring your control wire in here. Then we've got matching colors here, red, brown, black. It'll match up your, it actually matches the colors up here. Then your switch, there's no colors marked in here, but the, the instructions show you which wire goes where on the terminal strip. So there, that's how you that's how you wire the Amerwind E-Series fans. This gets mounted down at your doorway, wherever it's convenient to turn it on and off. Your, your control wire goes between here and here. So that, that this control wire jink comes up here. Pow the power from the motor, power to the motor comes in the bottom of here. And power from your breaker panel comes right in here. The, the two wires that you have to bring together is your power wire in here and your control wire between your control, the control and the VFD. If you don't want manual controls, we have all kinds of automatic ones. Speed these things up and down with the temperature. Your heaters turn on, your fans start and mix the air just right. So we've got you covered no matter what your situation is and how to run these fans. So thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, give us a call.